Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're in Thailand, Phuket, touring another Central Agency listing of Everton Yachts. It's 51 meter, steel and aluminium, bulbous bow motor yacht, built by one of the most prestigious and I would say even pedigree brands of Italian craftsmanship and shipbuilding, Code Casa. Now, originally built and delivered in 2011 as Alderbright, gets then resold in 2017 and renamed to Atlas, which it is now. And to me, this yacht in every aspect looks like a true gentleman yacht although it keeps that sturdy and masculine look from outside. Just take a look at her. Code Casa is surprisingly not really on the hearing of the many, but definitely brings respect and appreciation among yacht connoisseurs and yacht lovers. Uh, the shipyard is one of the oldest family-owned businesses in Italy, and according to the shipyard owner Fulvio Code Casa, the underlying principle for having a successful project lies in attentive listening to the owner's requests and aspirations and then translating it the right way using all the craftsmanship and expertise of the shipyard. As you may have already noticed, right now we're in the aft of the main deck in the cockpit area, which is furnished very nicely by Paolo Lenny loose furnitures. We have three seat, two sofas on both sides, two more armchairs. This whole area completely shaded by the upper deck, built-in LED lights and audio system. Nice lounge right at the back. As you can see, there is two flight boards here, and of which there is four on this boat and so many, plenty of other water toys that we will show you later on in this tour. Now we're ready to move to the main salon. Now entering the main salon you have this small step right here because these doors are watertight and this is an ocean going vessel obviously back in the days you could not do without it. This corridor is framed by two ventilation trunks on both sides although these spaces right here as you can see by the doors has some more storage for for towels and for whatever you may uh, need. On your port side there's a nice bar coupled with a very beautiful marble with metallic effect countertop equipped with a sink, fridge and ice maker. On your starboard side a coffee table with four more armchairs. This whole design is made by a very famous couple, Franco and Ana de la Rola, together with the Code Casa design team. As you can see this is a rose wood, satin finished rosewood coupled with beige ceiling panels and some leather panels on the walls. It looks very nice and in contrast you have this light oak wood paneling on the floor. So this whole lounge area is uh, furnished with two Paolo ladies, loose furnitures and two more ceramic tables in the middle. TV right here, a 50 inch TV. As you may have already noticed, the only thing that is missing in this layout is the dining area. And in our case, it's moved upstairs to the aft of the upper deck. And this is a particular feature of this plan, of this yacht, which is copy pasted on all other yachts of the same series. Now, basically the whole of the main deck is divided in more or less equal parts into the main salon and into two cabins. Speaking of which, this yacht has accommodation for 14 people in six cabins and accommodation for 11 people of crew. And guess what? It has 620 GT of internal volume, despite the fact that on average on the market in 50 meter size, we normally have 500 GT. So let's continue our tour. I'll show you where those growth stones went to. Now, as you can see on my left, there's an elevator going from the lower deck to the main and upper deck through the three decks. Very nice wide passage right here with a weather tight door. Very nice lobby area uh, furnished with some marble uh, pieces the same we have on the bar right there on the port side, some more storage on both sides here, panoramic windows and entrance obviously to the starboard side passage. Now this, from this point here, and by the way, this is monumental to me. It, this is a very nice, very beautiful piece, the central staircase that leads you up to the upper deck, which we'll show you in a bit. And moving forward, here it is where the guest and owner accommodation starts. By the way, here on my right, there's a, there's a huge day head and we have it on every single deck, including the sun deck, by the way. This is quite important. Here on my left, a VIP cabin for accommodation of two more people. Here we have a queen size bed, which is 1.8 meter wide and obviously panoramic windows, which normally on this side of the yacht, only owner can enjoy. But staying above the water level, 
this is your definitely an upside to the layout of this particular boat. So moving moving to the bathroom, we have El Satuario marble on the floor and on the countertop, ceramic uh, sink, a bidet, rain shower, also finished with the uh, same white uh, El Satuario marble in combination with this little bit contrasting bronze and satin uh, finishing right here. From this point, let's move to the master headquarters and that is amazing. And now, welcome to the jewel of this layout. On the whole boat, this is really a true one-of-a-kind thing. The first thing you see entering the master cabin is this nice lounge with a very big balcony opening out. If an amazing view out in the sea, really. You can just enjoy staying here by yourself. And I really like these two skylight portholes that open up a very nice view on the water. Super nice. So moving forward, there's a working top, the desk where you can work at all times whenever you need it with a nice view out. I have to say that this whole space is really very well managed by these sliding doors. They save you a lot of space. Here moving forward, here in the middle is the king size bed, which is two meter wide with a TV in front of it. Obviously the bathroom up front, which is divided into his and into hers with a bathroom in the middle and obviously the shower and the water closet. Same finishing pretty much like on all other and suite bathrooms in all other cabins. On the port side, there's a makeup table with panoramic windows, very nice view out. And from here, we enter into the wardrobe, which is full wide in this master cabin. There's a lot of cabinetry right here, a mirror, at the central bar for the hangers, for whatever you need. This whole space can also be divided and separated from the rest of it. So complete privacy in any combination you may imagine. This is probably one of the best master cabin layouts I've ever seen on the boat of this size. Moving on to the lower deck, uh, you will see quite a conventional layout, which will range from 35 to 50 meter size, more or less. You have two guest cabins right here behind you, two more VIPs that totally can accommodate up to 10 guests because there is two more bunk beds in those guest cabins right there. We're in the port side, here is some, some more storage, an elevator, which I mentioned previously in the tour that starts from the lower deck up to the main and upper deck. Let's proceed to the VIP cabin right here. Here we have a very nice queen size bed, which is 1.8 meter wide, the same finishing beige ceiling, uh, set in finished rosewood leather panels, a small, but yet you have it, TV. And moving to the bathroom, this idea of uh, this warm yet elegant design continues and transmits to El Statuario marble, which you have on the floor and on the main countertop, ceramic sink, very nice mirror, all the way through the whole bathroom, a rain shower in the uh, shower cabin, also finished with El Statuario marble. All these panels are, so from this side, it's uh, still that satin finished rosewood. On the other side, it's more or less brass, bronze finished plywood, it's very beautiful and cozy. So on the starboard side, you have the same, the same size and the same styling of the VIP cabin, the same queen size bed and the same finishing all around. So these are these two cabins are completely identical. But what I really like about Cody Casa is they leave these small little features that give that sense of something truly naval and uh, closer to the nature in some way. I really like this thing. Let's proceed to the guest cabins and. Uh, I'll show you what we've got over there. By the way, the ceiling is covered with these mirror panels that are really nice. They visually extend the space. The same we have here on the starboard side. Behind this door, there is some more storage. Behind this one too. And uh, this is the guest cabin, which is pretty roomy. There's a lot of space between these two beds. There is a bunk bed on the internal partition of this wall right here. In the same styling also in the bathroom. Uh, we have this sliding door that that basically saves you a lot of space and visually extends the entrance to the to the ensuite bathroom. Also, same finishing bronze finish right here. A shower, um, a, a rain shower in the shower cabin, which is finished with El Statuario marble top. The same we have on the floor and a very nice view outside as always. So let's proceed to this upper deck. We'll show you around. Well, Upper Deck and Upper Deck Salon is where Atlas shows her exceptional style. Right in my right, there's a uh, day head with a 
quite a decent size with lots of flex space and really very comfortable finish the same way as all other cabins all around the boat on the starboard side so on my left there's three panoramic windows actually this one is the sliding door that leads you out some more storage right here and boom look look at this look, look at the width of this passage this is some 80 centimeters centimeter wide entrance to the upper salon and from this point on my right there's an elevator as we mentioned before that goes through the three decks and now boom there you have it so this is probably one of the or, or the most enjoyable space here in the boat because this is the only main entertainment area as you can see by this nice Paolo Letty setup with a transparent glass uh, coffee table in the, in the middle a few more Paolo Letty furnitures right here so this space can be used as a lounge or as a cinema so there is a 65 inch TV right in the middle on the port side there is entrance to the pantry and the crew mess so life of guests and uh, crew on board is completely separated from each other you don't actually see them everything happens by itself moving to the extreme part of the upper deck here's the dining area that precious part where the whole family get together and uh i really like it because well first of all it's kind of dual purpose low, uh, space because it can be out in the sea you can open up these uh, water tight doors completely up to this point on both sides and enjoy fresh air staying together at the same time with those who want to stay in the middle of the upper deck i really like this so to say asian looking uh, style uh, round table of made of transparent glass with this kind of servicing plate in the middle it's uh, it looks really really cozy and elegant and you can have all your family together and those are the precious moments why and the whys which lead you to the purchase of any yacht and this yacht in particular well a really enjoyable space you really want to stay here as much as possible so the extreme part of the upper deck is uh, furnished with some more lounge area three seats over here three seats sofa on the on the starboard side and well basically there's not much space left because I, as you understand all this internal house slash external volume moved inside the yacht moved into those additional 120 gross tons of the boat of this size from here let's move to the sun deck and now welcome to the sun deck just look at the size and on comparing the beam of the upper deck it looks almost the same you know it's just amazing how how the factory how the shipyard managed to squeeze all the gross tons and just to have such an amazing pragmatically used space there's a nice two seat sofas right here that actually look like something from where you would enjoy uh, watching your favorite movie and this is the case right here because in between these two columns you can mount a tv screen and enjoy your favorite new movie at night right now it's pretty it's pretty windy and it's only four four o'clock so we will not manage to show it to you but during the night this is just an amazing place to enjoy your favorite movie so moving off of course you have your two life rafts it's a commercial class boat Moving forward, there is a nice semicircle shaped bar with a very beautiful countertop, some pearl effect right here, five bar stools around it. It's all, it's all equipped with a uh, fridge and a nice maker, another countertop right here to solve some of your best drinks. And what I really like about this layout is this central bread and moss slash hard top. It does occupy the central space of this on the sun deck, but it's done in a very, very pragmatic way. What I really like is that you have a day head right here on the starboard side so your guests don't have to run down to their cabins in case they need the bathroom this is a really great solution and a very nice hidden right here so moving to the front there's an l-shaped sofa for about five people two sun beds and right here in the middle there's a jacuzzi with a umbrella which we kept closed because it's quite windy today but in case uh, you don't want sun you can open it up and not only enjoy the jacuzzi itself but also stay in the shade as long as you want and from this point we it's actually worth mentioning all those water toys this yacht has to offer there's plenty of them but first let's go to the wheel station now welcome to the center of operations the helm station so entering here on your right on your left there's a working a desk for the captain where the whole secret operations take place moving here you have the first thing you see is these panoramic windows with, with very nice visibility two big armchairs for comfortable longer cruising this yacht can go up to 5000 nautical miles on full tanks so the four screens that are distributed for the cctv system your gps your chart plotter uh the radar uh, the wheel uh, console the main levers for the engines now speaking about the engines Atlas is equipped with two Caterpillar main engines, 2300 horsepower each. 
It takes power from two Northern Lights generators, 170 kilowatt each. They all together consume about 215 liters an hour with everything included and everything working, which is quite ridiculous for the boat of this size and caliber. It's also equipped with quantum fin stabilizers that keep her stable when underway in an anchorage. But even without, without stabilizers working, after the sea trials and spending all the yacht three days, I can assure you that she's perfectly stable. Now from here, let's move to the bow. We'll show you the water toys. So here in the front, you have a semicircle four seat shape sofa with a nice marble table right in the middle. Now you cannot imagine a better place to speak about water toys this yacht is equipped with. From here, you see two BRP Cedus uh, GTX limited edition uh, jet skis, 300 horsepower each. The rescue tender right in the middle, a 100 kilogram uh, capacity davit. Now speaking about the rescue tender that you see right there, uh, this yacht was initially built and uh, under Lloyd class commercial boat, but has always been used privately. But any time you want any time her future buyer and owner wants you can convert it into commercially and make some returns out of out of charter now this is not this is not it there is another two tenders which is Castoldi 21 jet tender right in the garage in the aft uh, of this yacht and another tender which is Saks tried a 13 meter long chase boat equipped with two diesel 380 horsepower engines twin installation with obviously stern drive and dual prop there's so many other things like inflatable slide that is to be installed on the sun deck, uh, flight boards and so many other things so that you will find your time on board Atlas truly, truly enjoyable. Well, it's been tough three days of shooting, but we truly enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy watching it. Uh, we remind you that Atlas is a Kodikaze 51 meter, built in 2011, listed exclusively for sale with Aberton Yachts with, for the asking price of $21 million. You can text us, call us anytime you want, 24-7-365. We're always available for you. Hope you enjoyed it again and see you in the next one.